What's up everybody? After watching this video, if you like it, would really appreciate if you gave me either a thumbs up or a subscribe. So today I'm going to be digging into the archives to give you a shoe that some of you guys requested after I did the last acronym collaboration which were these. Uh, I'll link the review for these below. So when these first released, the Presto itself was actually not really sought after. So there was a surprise drop I believe somewhere in Germany uh, at some random time and then that was basically it. And then there were some smaller drops in the US and other places but beyond that the Presto itself was actually relatively limited. Actually it was extremely limited. And this acronym Presto Mid was the debut of a mid version that didn't exist before. So the low top and the uh, flyknit version existed, but that was really about it. And so ever since then, we've actually seen many models of the mid utility get released all throughout the year. Um, and so what's interesting about that is the zipper design that you'll see over here was carried over to the regular models as well. And Nike actually did something very similar with the VaporMax uh, Mach 2. So the first release of the VaporMax Mach 2 was actually through the acronym um, collab as opposed to just launching it first and having collab afterwards. Let's start with the upper. The upper is made out of a neoprene and it's done in a black color. So let's start from the collar just because it's very interesting. So the mid utility piece, it's a bit padded on the top over here with some hatch marks that are debossed into the pattern itself. Moving down into the shoe, you will be able to see these fuse panels. What's interesting is that they actually kind of feel a little like uh, suede, but I believe that these are rubber panels. And then moving to the front, it's just neoprene, and then there's a Nike symbol over here. And both the medial side and the lateral side are basically exactly the same. Moving on, you're going to see the typical Presto cage done in this bamboo color. Um, you can see the different eyelets, and then the laces themselves are done in this circular rope style lace. As for acronym branding, you're going to see acronym branding over here which is done in without the, the vowels, and then acronym branding over here on the medial side with the entire thing written out. So let's get to the back of the shoe where things get interesting. So as you can see, there are two zippers on the lateral as well as medial sides of the shoe, and then you right below that is the acronym symbol that's over here. Um, what's really cool is there are all these little like leather flaps here as well, and these really enhance into the tech where you're seeing. The zippers are also attached to these little ropes over here, and those ropes are attached to this piece, and that's actually a button. Um, so you can see that you can do that over here and just kind of zip it down. Once you zip it down, you can put your foot in, and then once you put your foot in, you can zip it back up for support um, for the mid. And so that everything's not flopping all over the place, you have this little button to make sure that nothing goes anywhere. Um, on the inside of the shoe, you are also going to see the Nike X acronym thing done in there. What is kind of cool is that it is a tumbled leather, which makes it really, really nice on the inside. Um, I don't think it does anything from a comfort level, but it just feels cool once it's on foot. And then in addition to that, there is also a piece of leather paneling over here, which is done in a nice tumbled leather. I wish uh, Jordan Brand would find a way to get some of this leather because it feels really, really good. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, you're going to see a typical Duralon outsole, and that outsole is done uh, with some ridging and patterning over here. You can actually see the back of the cage uh, over here as well. And then in addition to that, there is an air unit that is over here. All right, so what are my thoughts on the shoe? So if you guys have ever owned a Presto, these are some of the most comfortable shoes you can buy. So Nike designed the Presto to feel like a t-shirt. And so what's interesting about it is once we get to the sizing portion of this, that the sizing is actually drastically different than your typical shoe. But the comfort itself for these specific pair is really, really good. Um, so the Presto in general, if you're going to wear them, um, they, they really do fit like a glove. And so this neoprene really hugs your foot, but not in an uncomfortable way. Uh, the only thing that I would say from a comfort level perspective because of the neoprene is that it does get hot uh, if you do wear thick socks and things like that. And so this pair is an extra, extra small, which translates to between a 7 and an 8. Then you have an extra small, which is between 8 and 9. And then you have a small, which is between 9 and 10. Uh, a medium, which is between 10 and 11, and so on and so forth. So knowing that that's how you would actually order it, uh, I'd say that these fit basically in the middle of those two sizes. Uh, these actually fit perfectly because I am a seven and a half. All right, guys, and that's it. I'm about to lace these up and give you an on feet. This light, once again, is the acronym Presto done in the bamboo colorway. This is, like I said, one of my favorite shoes from the archives, but until next time, peace.